Okay, so the main answer is A north. So two ways of, th two ways of thinking about this. One of is just take the directions, as I said, uh, take R final, add negative R initial, negative R initial, and what you would find out is that delta R is pointing north. But you could also think about the problem. This is picture of a car from above driving on a straight road. Early in, earlier in the time, our initial, it's here. Later on, it's there. If you're driving along a road and you go from there to there, what direction are you traveling? You're traveling directly north. North is, as, as I've defined it here, north is just straight up the page. So looking at this, you could also, you could, you could forget about vector subtraction and uh, go with your gut. Uh, if somebody is traveling northward on a road, then their velocity must be in the northward direction. And you would be right. What you're going to find when you subtract vectors like this is that the direction of the velocity is always along the path. If I walk like this, I'm taking a path that's east. My velocity vector points east. It always points along the path. Then there's this other question, what about something like this? Because I was walking east, and then I turned slowly. I turned and, and eventually I'm walking north. Something happened to my velocity vector, it changed direction. And I could say it, but I, I'll say it after we do the next one. How do you deal with curves? Here's a curve. Here's a car that's going around in a circle counterclockwise. There's a car earlier in time. Later on in time, it's over to there. What's the direction of V? In other words, what's the direction of delta R? Because it's going around in a circle, those two R's have the same length. I took my origin of coordinates to just be the center of the circle, just to make it easy. Be a lot harder to do the, to do the math in your head if it wasn't let me know what you think. <laughs>